Fogstack is essentially an interrogation tool to interrogate existing data sets. A little bit like Google, it acts as a search engine that allows you to type in essentially a very simple textual command. You don't need to know the structure of the data, you don't need to know the exact term for what you're looking for. You say, I want to look for a particular disease, a drug, an adverse event, and it searches everything. And it's interrogating data across multiple platforms, for example, laboratory result data, clinical text data, and data that exists in hospitals and primary care. Cogstack has this fantastic ability to interrogate all of that incredibly rapidly and, and provide a real-time feed of what is happening. I, I'm a rheumatologist and we look after people with a disease called rheumatoid arthritis. One of the most common medicines we use for this is called methotrexate. It's a very good medicine, but there's a small risk of serious harm. And that's particularly if people were to continue taking it if they developed renal problems, kidney problems. Um, so we've been very keen to have a way of monitoring people who develop renal failure um, or develop renal impairment and be able to identify them and stop the methotrexate before any harm happens. So we used Cogstack to interrogate both the electronic records, both the structured and unstructured data, to identify any patient taking methotrexate and then also simultaneously look at records for laboratory results, both within the hospital, but also outside the hospital in the wider network, which we have access to through Cogstack, to create an immediate reporting system. And, and this has resulted in, for example, quite recently, a patient who was actually a patient of mine uh, got an email mid-morning alerting me that she had been admitted, her renal function had deteriorated, and she was still taking a methotrexate. I was immediately able to contact one of my registrars who went straight to the ward and stopped the medicine. So can sort of preempt the, the potential problem and, and harm. Um, and, and this has been a, a system which we get an alert probably about once or twice a month on someone where we're then able to, either if they're an inpatient, see them, or if they're at the community, contact them directly and, and stop the medication. So this is the Cogstack main page, and we have a search bar at the top, and you can see within this index there are 12 million documents of about patients. And if we type in the word epilepsy, it has identified 264,000 patients at, or episodes with the word epilepsy in it. We can refine this search further. We can simply add certain additional words and you can narrow down the 264,000 episodes to a much finer number. I'm Matthew Hotoff. I'm uh, Director of the NIHR Biomedical Research Centre at the Maudsley. And I'm very excited about Cogstack because it really brings together a lot of our work in informatics and in joining mental and physical health care. One of the examples of that is, is a project called IMPARTS where we're screening large numbers of people for mental and physical health problems using standard questionnaires uploaded on an iPad which goes straight into their health record. These are people with long-term conditions like diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, and Cogstack then allows us to put that into context to understand about the, 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 the clinical state of the individuals we're getting uh, into this program. So it tells us whether the doctors had previously recognised a problem like anxiety or depression, whether they were getting any treatment for it, uh, whether anything changes after the screening. I think that in the future this is going to be uh, revolutionary in terms of the way in which uh, clinical information is used for clinical decision making because it does three really important jobs. One is to improve patient safety by alerting clinicians to problems uh, before they've recognised they, they're happening. The second is that it, it potentially allows for early intervention because you can spot a pattern of deterioration in the clinical state and intervene earlier and thereby improve patients' lives, but also potentially save money. And the third thing is, it because it makes information available about the whole of the patient's journey and, and their care, you can actually provide more holistic care. You can bring mind and body together. A lot of what we are doing in medicine and the way we're managing patients is about how we learn how we personalise care and how we identify the right treatments, the right patient at the right time, and how we learn to integrate such a sort of fantastic search engine into the routine practice of clinicians is sort of a, an enormous step forward.